Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and as you continue installing Windows 11 after choosing either the upgrade or the custom, what's the difference? In the upgrade, you're pretty much done for now. You will go into the setup and it's going to start installing. In custom, because you're starting from scratch, it's going to ask you something about your hard drive and partitions. And so you'll see that your hard drive is there. You might see partitions. Uh, in my case, it says unallocated space because this is a new drive. Now, what do you want to do here? You got a lot of options. First of all, if you have uh, partitioned your drive and you have data on some drives, make sure that you choose the correct drive when you will go here. Because in a clean install, the main drive of install will be deleted. So all of the drive will be formatted. You'll lose your files and apps. So it's important to choose a correct one. But if you have only one drive like me, kind of easy. You just uh, first do one thing is that you will create a new drive. So you'll choose new and it's going to give you the size automatically. All you have to do is you click apply and then you click next. When you do that, it's going to tell you to ensure that all Windows features work correctly. Windows might create additional partitions for the system files. And you click OK, and you'll see that there will be partitions that are created. One is 100 megabytes. One is 16 megabytes. This, you just leave alone and never touch it. That is system reserves. It's for Windows 11 only, and it's normal to have that. In Windows 7, you might have noticed and even, I believe, Windows 10, it creates one, which is 100 megabytes. Windows 11 does it a little differently. There's two, but that's all. You continue here. Then the primary drive here that you see, um, it will automatically be formatted, but I like to format it myself. I will click Format and then click the Next button uh, when that happens. And once that is done, you are going to start the installation of Windows. This goes and takes anywhere from 10, 15 minutes to, depending on the type of hard drive, if you have a mechanical hard drive, it could take more than an hour. If And it depends on the speed of your USB flash drive, the USB ports. Many, many things are going to decide what speed this is going. In my case, in my uh, gaming laptop that I installed this on, it took for the copying files and installation features, updates, and all of that, probably 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and it was pretty much done. And then we started having already the uh, information about what's going to be in the next video, the different um, questions and options that are actually going to be showing up. So that's where we're going to be now. So once that is happening, you leave it alone and you wait until the next step. And like I said, it can take anywhere from 15, 20 minutes. It could take an hour or two. It all depends on several factors, including the speed of the file transfers and how you're installing the uh, operating system. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.